Welcome to Stormwater Drainage Solutions. In today's video, we're going to be demonstrating how water flows through three different types of fittings. We're going to be using a T, a sanitary T, and a Y connection. And this video is going to show why a Y connection is the best fitting to use whenever connecting a lateral into your main line. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first fitting that we're going to be testing here is going to be a typical T fitting. Now these T's are used for two things. They are either used for clean outs or they are used for small circle drains to drop water into a system. Now as you can see, we're just simply using a garden hose for this test. Water is coming down the lateral line entering the main. It is hitting that wall and creating a vortex and it's causing water to go backwards. Now we're going to go ahead and take off the back part of the main line just so you can see how much water is actually going backwards opposed to going forward. You do not want this in a drainage system. Do not use these T's for this type of application to connect laterals into your main line. This is how clogs get created a lot easier. Debris that gets in there cannot flow as easily to the outfall of the pipe. Up next is going to be your sanitary tee, also called a directional tee. Now these tees are typically used in an upright position to drop water down into a system from a higher elevation point. Now these work a lot better than a normal T when used on their side for a rainwater drainage application, but they still are not as good as using a Y. As you can see, as that water runs into the main line from our lateral, we do get backflow into our main line. Now, we're gonna go ahead and remove the pipe so you can see what it looks like without the main line being on there. And you will notice it does work better than the T a lot more water travels in the direction that we want it to, but you still have water backflowing and going the wrong direction. And it does create that, that vortex swirl, as you can see in there, that big wave. So you wanna to try to avoid that whenever you are building a drainage system. So it is best to always go with a Y. All right, up next we have a Y fitting with a 45 connected onto it. So this would be a combination Y. Now a combination Y is either a 45 fitting or a 22 and a half fitting combined with the Y to get the direction that you need and the angle that you need for your drainage system. Now, as you can see, as we got the water flowing through there, that is a lot smoother of a flow compared to the other two fittings. Now you do have a little bit of backflow in this, but not as nearly as much as the last two. Now I will go ahead and remove the pipe from the back the main line that way you can see for yourself that water really doesn't dump out nearly as bad compared to the other two now i i feel like i can't stress this enough it's like beating a dead horse at this point but i keep seeing people making this mistake of using t's and the wrong fittings so that's why we're trying to educate and we're trying to show why you use a why now the last connection that we are going to show you with the Y is with no combination on it. This creates a straight V. Now this here is by far the best way to connect a lateral into your main line. But you have to remember with yard drainage, there are so many obstacles and variables that have to be thought about. And you have to work around a lot of things, so you can't always do this. So if you have to use a combination Y, there's nothing wrong with that. That works just as well. The V is just the cream of the crop. If you can get away with using a V, definitely do it. But as you can see, look how smooth of a transition this is between the lateral and the main line. I mean, that water just flows in with no issues. This is by far the best way to connect into a main line whenever you can. But like I said earlier, there's a lot of variables in yard drainage. So using a combination Y with either a 22 and a half or a 45 is just as good. But look at the water going through there. It's not even backflowing hardly at all. The transition is just perfect. All right, guys, so I think we have successfully demonstrated the reason to use a Y fitting whenever connecting a lateral into your main line. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. We have a lot of good videos coming up here soon. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do so. You don't want to miss this stuff, especially if you're a drainage nerd and you're into anything that relates to draining water. And until next time, this is SWDS signing off.